We've long had a saying we've used at Lost Empire Herbs, and that is, bitter is better. Bitter, of course, being the flavor bitterness, and that flavor has largely been removed from the Western diet because it is bad, right? Uh, but what is bitter? Um, bitter is the indication there are certain compounds in there that register that bitter flavor on the tongue. And by removing this entire part of our diet, then we are not getting any of those components that are bitter. And a lot of those components have medicinal qualities to them. They have strong qualities to them that work on the body. So to just remove it, get rid of everything, means we're missing out of part of our diet. And yes, there are bitter foods that you can eat. Let's say kale is more bitter than iceberg lettuce, but still kale's got nothing compared to some of the, the herbs we have here at Lost Empire Herbs. And really, you do want bitter herbs. So we deal mostly in tinctures and powders, though we're starting to put some of our capsules out there. And the, there is a very good reason for that. You want to taste the herbs. The taste clues your body into what to do with them. So for instance, our blue vervain tincture. Now I've been talking about this one a lot, but it is a bitter nerving. That term, bitter nerving, those go together. It's actually that bitter quality that clues your body into what to do with it. So when I take this, it's right upon tasting the bitterness that the effect begins to occur. And I notice it right there, my body relaxing, reducing stress off the nerves. If you didn't have that bitter flavor to it, it wouldn't have quite that same effect on the body. Yes, the body would still process it and the chemicals and everything, but the bitterness registers and that begins the process. Bitterness is also an important part for digestion. By tasting bitter, that's why people use digestive bitters. We're not selling those, but you can find them other places. It gets the stomach acid going, it gets the secretions going, ready for food to come. Now, a couple other herbs that we have that are extremely bitter are reishi. A reishi is a 16 to 1 extract, so it's quite strong. And reishi is supposed to be bitter. If you're, if you're getting reishi from another company and it doesn't taste bitter, uh, sorry, not very good reishi. It's specifically the triterpenoids in there that have that really bitter flavor. And that's really important because those have some of the strong effects that you want with your reishi. So one thing to think about as you're bringing bitter back into your diet is that our tastes are really malleable. If we think that something is bad, then uh, it's often just that mental thought, that belief that keeps it that place, rather than just taking the taste in, uh, experiencing in it, and then moving on. And once again, the taste is malleable, so it can change over time. Uh, we've had people that hated our herbs, but over time, they get to enjoy them. And that brings me to our next very bitter herb, Tonkata Lee. Once again, extremely concentrated extract here, uh, but Tonkata Lee is supposed to be bitter. We're going to have our capsules real soon. Actually, by the time this video airs, probably have the capsules out. Um, I would recommend that people taste the Tonkata Lee. You're supposed to taste it. That's going to clue the body into doing it. That being said, the capsules are still probably going to give some benefit, though I would say not quite as strong, at least for some people. So take the Tonkata Lee, go in there. And extreme bitterness. Of all the bitters we have, Tonkat Ali takes the cake thus far. Um, another important thing, right? People are taking Tonkat Ali, what for? The hormonal benefits. And if you are, oh, I can't stand the taste. Well, you're, you're trying to man up, so man up with the taste. That's a really important thing. Just deal with the bitterness. And like I said, in time, your taste buds will adapt to it. And as some people have said, they even begin to crave that flavor. So that's a little bit about bitter and why bitter is better. I hope you understand that. Take that to heart and try some bitter herbs.